Hey guys, Marty Rooster here and today I'm going to be sharing with you the methods I use when defending on Operation Breakout. The first objective is the command post. Let's go over my preferred class. My preferred class is the BAR rifle with hollow point for that faster time to kill, FMJ so I can shoot through obstacles, and extended mags because the BAR only has a 20 round magazine. The most important part of this class is the flanker basic training. Now this is going to keep you alive a lot because the attacking team is going to be smothering you with explosives. Also the pistol doesn't matter and I'd use your preferred grenade. For me, it's the sticky grenade. Of course, if you don't have the BAR unlocked, you can use any rifle you want. So first up, the enemies are going to be coming from all directions at first, obviously. Some people sometimes like to come through the tunnel right here. So a lot of people I see, they come down here, which is a huge mistake, and they sit right here like this. As you guys can see, there's a car right there. All the enemy does is go behind that car and just snipe you in the face. So you do not want to come down here at all. Some people also like to sit right here, but if they throw a stun grenade in here, you're going to be stunned and dead. A much better method is to, if you want to kill people coming up that tunnel, is coming over here and just waiting for them. If you guys plan on going to the actual house and sitting in the house, I would highly recommend building up this wall. Now, don't lay right here or something like this because they're going to come straight through these windows and shoot you in the face. What you want to do is actually come over here and lay under this window. From here, the only people that can kill you are people coming from this direction or the door. Also, I do not recommend using a rifle for this position. If I plan on sticking in the house, I normally use a shotgun with the armored basic training. And to help me with my reloads and stuff like that, I like to use the hustle basic training and the machine pistol and also a frag grenade just so I can cook it and throw it straight ahead if need be. The armored basic training, if you get to level 4, will drastically reduce the damage taken from explosives. It will also make you better protected against fire damage as well. So yet again, if you guys plan on sitting in the house, make sure you use your favorite shotgun along with the armored division. Enemies will also, while well, their main route to attack you, will be coming from behind these jeeps right here, or well, these trucks or whatever. They will come right here from the spawn, they'll run up, they're going to sit right here like this, then they're going to run up and they're going to try to get through this doorway right here. So you're going to want to make sure when you are defending, you keep this door built. Then once it's built, you can sit right here and you can vaguely see them right here when they are planting that explosive. You can even shoot them right here or because we have the FMJ attachment on our rifle, shoot them through the wall easily. So remember, if they come up this way, you want to stand in this window and pick them off. And if they do plant the explosive, just shoot them through the wall. If they do manage to destroy the wall, they're going to be over here waiting while the wall is destroyed. So they're going to come around and as you can see, they're going to be vulnerable from this position. If you guys are feeling a little adventurous, I'd recommend coming out in front of the house and sitting right here. From this way, you can kill enemies coming up behind this tank. You can see them hopping up or coming straight for the middle of the map and you are protected be from the people coming up behind these trucks and stuff because your back is to a wall. How amazing is that? Also, if there's a guy sitting right here, don't be afraid to come over here and sit in the opposite direction. This way he can shoot over here protecting you and you can shoot over here protecting him. If you guys consider yourself snipers, I would recommend maybe laying right here and sniping people coming up the side right here. The sniper class I use throughout all the war modes is the Car 98 k with the Hunker Basic Training because the only way they're going to be able to kill you from back here is by throwing grenades at your face. With the Hunker Basic Training, unless they stick you, they're not going to kill you. Also put FMJ on just in case you have to shoot them behind the wall and the Ballistic Calibration Attachment just to eliminate some of that idle sway. Does not matter really what your mountain division level is as long as you have it on. That way you can hold down the breath when taking shots. I would not recommend building this turret and sitting on the turret because as you can see, they can see you from behind this haystack, they can see you from behind here, and also all the way back in there spawn behind the tank. Snipers like to sit there. So this is a very vulnerable spot. Also, don't forget, they can shoot you through these trees. So as soon as someone sees bullets coming from that MG, boom, look at that, you're dead. If the team does manage to take over the communication place, you are going to be moved to the next objective, which is defending this bridge from being built. The only class I ever use on this objective is a sniper. The sniper I like to use on this obstacle is the Car 98 k with FMJ and the Ballistic Calibration. Any sniper will do as long as it's not the carabin, because you can only one-shot people with the carabin, 
if you land a headshot, which isn't going to happen very often at this range. So you want to make sure you at least use the Lee Enfield or the M19, and if you can, the Car 98K. The whole enemy team are going to be trying to get to this box right here to repair the bridge. The teammates that aren't trying to repair the bridge are going to be around the map trying to snipe you in the face. The first spot I like to go to to prevent the bridge from being built and to prevent the snipers is up here to the right in this window. You will occasionally have enemies right over here trying to snipe you, but look at this. You can see people behind this barrel right here is where they normally are if they decide to jump out of this window onto the barrel. And also there'll be people over here in the grass as well as just right here building the bridge. Also, people like to sit behind this tree right here. As you can see, there's a lot of places you can get dead or get killed while in this spot. So just shoot off a couple of shots or what and just take a break and then come back. And if you keep dying or whatever, you can also try to come over here. Take a couple of shots and just keep switching. Keep the enemies on their toes. From the start, you can head left into this broken ass building over here. And you can come behind these sandbags and get a couple of shots off here. Your main target is going to be this guy in the window because that is a very, very good spot. For the attacking team also there is normally a guy in this corner right here if there's someone in this window as well so make sure you guys keep taking these two guys out also you can come over here in this position right here to evade this guy and just concentrate on the bridge and the guy in this window but beware if he has fmg on his sniper he can shoot through this bookshelf and you will be dead so again this is probably the best bet maybe switch between the two kill the guy up here once or twice Switch over here and just keep him guessing. You can also head through this small door right there into this window. And as you can see, great line of sight onto the people building the bridge. But you are open. You are open to the guy behind the barrel, up in the window and on the balcony. And as well as the people building the bridge can also shoot in the face. As well as the guys over here. So I do not like this window at all. In my opinion, the best place to be when defending the bridge is right here behind this truck. You can stand right here and as you can see... You can see everybody. And also this guy up here is going to be a little harder for him to get you. Unless he has a lookout basic training so you have a red name above your head. But as you can see, you have a clear sight of the people building the bridge. You have a clear sight of the guy in the window and the balcony. I take a couple of shots right here and I have to go right here in this truck window. This hides you from the guy up in this balcony right here. So your only person you have to really be afraid of is the guy up in this window or any snipers over here which are wide in the open. And as you can see, you have a beautiful spot to see people building the bridge. Another position people sometimes have a look with is behind the tank right here. Because as you can see, you can very clearly see the spot the people build the bridge. And also, you can see this guy right up here or anyone else on the ledge really easy. Also, you can also come right here across the bridge. And as you can see, if you back up enough, you can block out that window up there. And you've got clear spots right here on this guy and on the corner of the bridge as well. I want to tell you guys this though. The key to defending this objective is to keep on moving. Don't just sit here and think you're going to get a 45 kill streak by just sitting here. No. Is it possible? Yes. Is it going to be easy? No. I'd recommend or what I do is take a few shots and just keep switching positions. Go over here for a little bit. Come over here and run into the house and take a few shots. Just keep on moving because you've got to remember there's also five other teammates on your team. And everyone plays differently here. But as long as you keep on moving, your teammates are probably going to die, but you're not. Unless your whole team keeps on moving like this and rotating spots, and then you're just going to totally dominate. If the enemy team does manage to take the bridge, your next objective is going to be to defend the ammo dump. Here is my preferred creator class for the third objective, the ammo dump. I like to use the Sten SMG, but if you don't have access to that, any other SMG will work perfectly fine. The Sten is just my favorite. The hunker basic training is very important because people are going to spawn, throw grenades and die. With the hunker basic training, you're going to survive that little bit longer. Also, on this objective, I prefer the lethal, the sticky grenade over the fragmentation grenade. For some reason on this objective, I actually stick the enemy a hell of a lot of times. If you guys aren't digging SMGs, feel free to use a rifle instead. I normally switch between my Sten class and my BAR class. This is the same BAR class. I used on the previous objectives. So the enemies are going to be coming from two directions mainly. They're going to be coming from over here, which is going to be their main source of attack. Then they're going to be coming from this direction as their secondary source of attack. This one is going to be their primary. So what you want to make sure you are doing is keeping this wall down so you have access to them. But building these two walls and these two walls just to keep the enemy out. Now, I see a lot of enemy teams or teammates building these two walls all the way up. 
which totally makes no sense to me because what I like to do is sit behind this wall right here and kill the enemy as they explode these walls over here. And also, same with this way, you can sit here and wait for the enemy to destroy these two walls and kill them as they try to come in. Also, a great spot to sit is right behind these barrels right here. Because like I said, the enemy spawns right over here. And they're going to come running through here behind the tank and through this door. So they can stand right here and they can see enemies and they can throw grenades over here and kill the guys behind this wall. They do it to me all the time. So if you've got teammates on that wall, you might want to sit here for a little bit and kill some enemies coming down here. So these guys can defend the bomb site for a little longer. Also, a great spot to sit if you are using a sniper or a rifle or even an LMG. <laughs> Who uses those, right? Right here. That's because when they come around this corner, they are sitting ducks for you. Your one weakness, though, is enemies coming around this truck right here. They will come through here or from around here, and they will come to this truck, and they will cap you right here. Look at that. You're going to be so busy shooting people coming from this way, you're not really going to see them coming from this way. So just make sure you keep your eyes out. Also, when you spawn, you are going to be spawning over here or over in this area right here. If you guys spawn over here, what I like to do is throw this grenade, just aim a little bit higher than the actual objective and throw your grenade. Look at that. Boom. Perfect. You guys want to make sure all your grenades are coming in the spot right here. So that's pretty much what this objective is. It's pretty much spawning, just kind of camping a bit and just keep defending from the waves of attackers, really. Just make sure every life you are throwing your grenade into this room right here. You can destroy your own walls with your own grenades, but I'd rather throw a grenade in here and kill a guy defending the bomb than have a wall built, if you guys get what I'm saying. So make sure every spawn you are at least throwing your grenades in this general area. If the enemy team does manage to destroy the ammo dump, you are going to have to prevent them from escorting this tank to your flat guns, which is all the way over here behind this wall and beside this church. So I'm going to split this objective up into two different parts. The first part is before the team escorts the tank beside these sandbags right here. And the second part when they're escorting it from the sandbags to the end. So in the part where you're defending right here, you're going to make sure you use your grenades. And the same classes as the previous step is normally what I use in this first portion. Either an SMG or a rifle. So my favorite spot to sit right here is behind these barrels. Because as you can see, you have a clear shot of the tank. But now you cannot rebuild these walls. So be prepared to die a lot. My first place I go to is sitting right behind these barrels right here. Also, my secondary spot is coming right here behind this box. And as you can see, look at that. You can stand up, crouch down, stand up, crouch down, <laughs> all that you want. And this is mainly to kill people coming from this spawn, because remember that's their primary way, because they're going to come through here, run through this place right here to get to the tank. And if you're sitting right here, you can pick a few of them off to negate their process. Once the tank gets to right around here, you are going to be able to use a couple of different positions. This spot right here isn't going to work because the team is then going to start running through this building, coming behind you and shooting you in the side of the face. So instead of sitting behind those barrels, I would recommend coming behind this wall right here. Boom, just like this. And as you can see, you can see people coming through this door as well as behind these barrels. This is totally the kill feed spot right here. When the tank gets to be right around here, you want to give up on this spot. I would recommend coming over here behind this concrete wall aiming right here because now the enemy is going to be coming through this small intersection right here and trying to shoot you in the face. If you are sitting right here, as you can see, they're going to be easy pickings. If there's already a teammate right there, don't be afraid to come over here behind these barrels. Just note, if the tank hits these barrels and shit, they're going to explode and go bye-bye. Also, a decent place to sit right here is someone's previously in this spot and this spot. But note, enemies are still going to be coming through this way as well as straight ahead. So you're kind of a sitting duck. But if you have to sit somewhere, this is a place to do it. Just make sure you guys are throwing grenades as close to the tank as possible. If capable, stick the tank because it's still going to kill enemies around the tank. Once the enemy team escorts their tank past these sandbags, they are going to activate a checkpoint. As you can see, the tank is not going back any further than this. So now you have, again, two different directions to worry about. First being underneath this house right here. Secondly, they're going to come through that broken building to the left over here. Through this way. And over here, they're going to be sniping into your spawn like dirty little rats. And over here, they're going to be running through, sniping from this doorway. Right here. 
as you can see kind of into your spawn and the rest of them are going to be escorting their tank so to defend against this this is not easy this part isn't when the tanks around this area this is not easy what you more or less do is sit right here and wait for the tank to come around the corner and just try your best to pick them off while they're escorting the tank also if you are handy with a sniper that is going to come in handy because right here look at that all those snipers that have been sniping into your spawn you are going to be able to kill them easy there is a lot of positions you can sit in the sniper when defending this final stretch you can sit right behind this wall right here but just be careful there is going to be a guy occasionally pop his face up between this crack in the wall so as long as you sit right here that is literally the only guy you're going to have to worry about until the tank gets a little bit further up also if you want to be a little bit more adventurous you can go towards the end right here and now you have behind this barrel to worry about and behind the broken wall next spot you can go to is right around here behind this tree or shrub or whatever this is a spot i like to use because as you see you can see right behind this crate which is that's normally 100 percent where a guy is is right behind this crate and also behind this barrel if you want to drop down you've got a nice ghillie suit on they won't even be able to see you only if they have the lookout basic training right here as you can see you can see this guy but he won't really be able to see you and also you can see the guy behind the barrel and also right here that guy on the box can't really see you so yeah just make sure you guys keep moving around because if you kill a guy he's going to know where you are he's going to spawn jump on that ledge and just snipe you right in the face so just make sure you guys keep moving around also don't be scared to build jump behind this tree and use that tree as cover i like to shoot a couple of people sit behind the tree for a little bit so they kind of forget about me and get a little bit distracted then pop up and be like here i am silly and shoot them in the face again i just kind of like to do that the whole time if there is a guy behind the sandbags and behind the tree you can come around here to the trenches and come in one of these spots i don't really like being in the trenches really because this is where most of the grenades actually end up that's why that hunk of basic training is important when you are defending so if you're on this side with a sniper or even an assault rifle or an SMG, the tank's right side or people on the tank's right side while they're escorting it are going to be vulnerable to you. So you just got to pick them off easy and make sure you are utilizing those grenades. If you guys prefer using shotguns or SMGs or you want to be adventurous with the sniper, I would recommend coming to the church and chill. From the spawn, you can run straight into the church as you can see and you can sit right here. You have to worry about a lot though if you're sniping. Look at this. You've got so many different areas they can shoot you from. But, like I said, if you like to use an SMG or shotgun, I would literally sit right here and wait for the tanks to get close and just run out like, hi guys, and just spray them down with a shotgun. Alright guys, and those are all the methods I use when defending on Operation Breakout. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you've got any criticism on any of the methods I use, be sure to let me know. I'd be interested on how you guys play the war game mode. I'm out guys, peace.